addition a bar w z minus b w minus b bar z plus a equal to 0. Yes, this is your transformation. You just need to get the value of this w in terms of z. So this becomes your transformation that maps the circle mod z equal to 1 onto the circle mod w equal to 1 if mod b is not equal to mod a. This is the condition. Second, we also have to find the condition that the interior of the circle that is mod z strictly less than 1 may be mapped on interior of the another circle in the w plane, right? So for that, we have to find the condition for what condition this is possible. And third, we have to show that the fixed points are the inverse points with respect to the unit circle. And we can also show that that these fixed points lies on the circle, right? Okay. So the solution is, first, we have to get the transformation and with the condition that mod A not equal to mod B, we have to show that this transformation maps the circle mod Z equal to 1 onto the circle mod W equal to 1. Okay. So this is your given transformation, which can also be written as just writing W in terms of Z, we get W equal to A minus B bar into Z divided by A into Z bar minus B, right? For the circle mod W equal to 1, we are considering W W bar minus 1 equal to, okay, because this is your mod W equal to 1. When you square both the sides, you get W W bar is equal to 1. And from here, I'm considering that this taking 1 to the other side, w w bar minus 1 right so this is equal to putting the value of the transformation over here as a minus b bar z divided by a into z bar minus b multiplying with its conjugate that is a bar minus b into z bar divided by a bar z minus b bar minus 1 so this is equal to on simplification of the numerator, we get the product of A with its conjugate minus the product of B with its conjugate into the other factor is 1 minus Z into Z bar divided by A Z bar minus B into A bar Z minus B bar. Which can also be written as a into A bar minus B into B bar into 1 minus Z into Z bar divided by, as this is the conjugate of this factor, we can write this as mod of A Z bar minus B square, right? W W bar minus 1. All right. Just look at the left hand side and the right hand side. I'm having W W bar minus 1. W, w bar. Now, when the w, w bar is equal to 1, if z, z bar is equal to 1, yes, provided this factor should be non-zero, right? So, w, w bar is equal to 1, then this z, z bar is equal to 1, provided a, a bar minus b, b bar should be non-zero. Right? Or we can also say that A, A bar should not be equal to B, B bar. And when you square both the sides, you can see from here that, uh, okay, I'm writing over here, mod A is not equal to mod B. This is where we have to reach. Yes? Okay. So writing this, W, W bar minus 1 is equal to A, A bar minus B, B bar into 1 minus Z into Z bar divided by mod of A, Z bar minus B square. Hence, W, W bar is equal to 1 when this is equal to 1. That is, when Z, Z bar is equal to 1, provided this factor, that is A, A bar minus B, B bar should be non-zero. That is, mod A should not be equal to mod B, right? Okay, now the second part for the interiors, yes? When this WW bar is strictly less than 1, because 
if this is your circle mod w equal to 1 for the interior part we are considering this region that is for mod w strictly less than 1 or when you square both the sides you get this to be as w w bar strictly less than 1 this is what i'm considering so w w bar is strictly less than 1 this thing is negative when so we require w w bar strictly less than 1 for z z bar strictly less than 1 because the interior of the circle in z plane should be mapped into the interior of the circle in the w plane so for w w bar less than 1 we must have z z bar less than 1 yes which means z z bar minus 1 should be less than 0 or 1 minus z z bar should be positive so the second factor is positive this i needs to be negative so when the right hand side becomes negative if this factor is negative which means a a bar minus b b bar should be negative yes the condition is a a bar minus b b bar should be negative or that is mod a is strictly less than mod b yes so the condition is mod a is strictly less than mod b so writing these two results together conclusion the transformation maps the unit circle mod z equal to 1 on the unit circle mod w equal to 1 provided mod b is not equal to mod a and if mod a is strictly less than mod b then the interior mod z strictly less than 1 is mapped into the interior mod w strictly less than 1 so two results are proved okay third one to find the fixed points to show that fixed points are the inverse points of each other right and also we can also show that the fixed points lies on the circle now how to get the fixed points from the given transformation this is your given transformation yes so to get the fixed points we just need to replace w with z so this becomes a bar into z square minus b z minus b bar z plus a equal to zero we get the quadratic equation in z so this is b plus b bar into z plus a equal to zero from here we get the roots of this quadratic equations and let's say that z1 z2 are the roots of this equation then z1 becomes the first root is b plus b bar you can check plus square root of b plus b bar square minus 4a into a bar divided by 2a bar and the other root is just replacing the positive sign with the negative one so this is b plus b bar minus square root of b plus b bar whole square minus 4 a a bar divided by 2 a bar now for the fixed points to be the inverse points of each other what is the condition for that the product of the first root with the conjugate of the second root should be equal to one right so the first root z1 is written as b plus b bar plus square root of b plus b bar whole square minus 4 a a bar divided by 2 a bar into the conjugate of the second root so this becomes b bar plus b or b plus b bar one and the same thing minus square root of b bar plus b whole square minus this is 4 a bar a the product is same divided by this 2 a bar becomes 2 a right so this is a plus b and this is a minus b in the numerator so this is a square minus b squared the formula so this is your a that is b plus b bar the square minus the square of this square root that is b plus b bar whole square plus 4 a a bar divided by the product of the denominator is 4 a a bar so this cancels out so we get this to be as 
4 a a bar divided by 4 a a bar which is equal to 1 right provided the square root the term under the square root should be positive yes so provided the discriminant should be positive thus z1 z2 are the inverse points with respect to the unit circle mod z equal to 1 again if the discriminant is negative then what then what are the roots so z1 equal to b plus b bar plus iota square root of 4 a a bar minus b plus b bar whole square yes divided by 2 a bar and the other root is b plus b bar with minus sign iota square root of 4 a a bar minus b plus b bar whole square divided by 2 a bar now when these two points lies on the circle there is a result that please notice this remark the point z equal to x plus iota y lies on the unit circle mod z equal to 1 if z into its conjugate is equal to 1 that is the product of the point with its conjugate should be equal to 1 so we need to check that whether z1 z2 lies on the circle or not for that first for the point z1 we need to check that the product of z1 with its conjugate should be equal to 1 similarly the product of z2 into its conjugate should be equal to 1 so for these two results we say that z1 and z2 lies on the circle right okay so first let's check the product of z1 with its conjugate whether it is coming out to be 1 or not okay so what is z1 it is b plus b bar plus iota square root of 4 a a bar minus b plus b bar whole square divided by 2 a bar into its conjugate that is b plus b bar minus iota square root of 4 a bar a minus b bar plus b whole square divided by 2 a so b plus b bar or b bar plus b is one in the same thing so considering if this to be as a and this to be as b so we get that a square minus b square as the formula so this is b plus b bar square minus b square okay iota square is negative one that becomes positive and this is 4 a a bar minus b plus b bar whole square divided by 4 a into a bar we can also remove this bracket and this cancelled out and we get 4 a a bar divided by 4 a a bar which is equal to 1 so the product of z1 with its conjugate comes out to be as 1 hence z1 lies on the unit circle right similarly we can also get that the other point z2 lies on the unit circle if the product of z2 with its conjugate comes out to be 1 we can get this to be as 1 obviously hence z1 z2 lies on the unit circle so what we conclude that the fixed points either are the inverse points to each other for discriminant to be positive and for discriminant to be negative these two points lies on the circle mod z equal to 1 that is either the fixed points are the inverse points to each other or these are lying on the circle yes thank you